Welcome to the Santa Barbara International Film Festival Red Carpet. Hi, my name is Rosalie Miller, and I am the producer on a feature-length documentary that's screening here called Personhood. And you are? I'm Joe Ardinger, and I directed and edited the film, uh, which is about this growing set of laws in America that are being used to criminalize and police pregnant women. And it's a really underreported topic, and so we're trying to use the film to lift that message up. And what that translates into is women who have been arrested for um, quote unquote suspicious miscarriages uh, or being forced to have C-sections against their will or being forced into a treatment facility um, w without any say and the women on our film actually refused to do that and went to jail so we're trying to bring this issue to light. Yes. All right, is this in the state of California? Is this nationwide? Where, where is this happening? There are 38 states that have laws right now that treat uh, fertilized eggs, embryos, and fetuses as potential victims of crime. And depending on where you live depends on how that law is applied. Uh, some states have laws that say you can't use these against pregnant women themselves. But what we're finding is that they are, in fact, being turned against pregnant women, and women are being prosecuted for all sorts of things that aren't actually crimes. And it's creating a, a, a second-class status for pregnant women in America. How did you guys find out about this? <laughs> well, um, Joe started on this uh, back in 2011. So I actually didn't come on to the project until 2013. Uh, but we got introduced to National Advocates for Pregnant Women, Lynn Paltrow, and then Lynn Paltrow introduced us to Tammy Lacher, who is our main character in the film. And Joe and Tammy uh, were introduced to one another, and then the rest is really history. Um, she allowed us to come into her life for two years um, while her case was being litigated, and we followed her story uh, from, what, 2000 and... 2015 on, and, yeah. and this is a woman who went to the doctor seeking help, and she said, you know, before I found out I was pregnant, I occasionally used drugs, and this whole process started, and before she knew it, she was detained at the hospital, her fetus got a lawyer, she didn't get a lawyer, uh, and then they said she had to spend the remainder of her pregnancy in inpatient drug treatment. Um, and she didn't have a drug problem, so she said, no, I'm not going to do that. And she ended up going to jail, spent 18 days there, had no prenatal care, was put in solitary confinement. Did she have the baby? She oh, yes. Yeah. She's a wonderful mom. She yeah. went to the doctor for help because she really wanted to have a healthy pregnancy, and she, didn't, she was self-medicating a problem because she was uninsured. And so this is kind of a cycle that happens, and these laws are really being... Uh, you know, 70% of the women who get caught up in these laws are lower income, and also it affects women of color. I'm so glad her baby's healthy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and she's a great mom, which is why she went to go get help. So sure. that's, yeah. that's the problem. Is there's a lot of stigma around these stories, and um, she was able to get out of jail after 18 days, but the state kept tight control on her. And, uh, you know, out of her own pocket, she had to pay for drug tests twice a week. And, you know, we're talking about someone who wasn't an, an active addict. This is someone who was self-medicating. And so this whole process got started. Remarkable. Tell us when and where your film is showing this week. Um, well, so we had our West Coast premiere today at the Metropolitan Fourth Theater. And then it's showing again tomorrow at 5 o'clock at the same theater. So... Outstanding. Thank you so much for this work. Really a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Wow.